demonstrate the use of springs and spring trackers, remote displacements, and parallel processing, we'll look at an analysis that simulates a train impacting a buffer stop. The buffer stop is spring-loaded and designed to slow the oncoming train to a halt. This example shows how to use a remote displacement to simplify a large body, as well as how to set up springs and solve in parallel. I'll use ANSYS Mechanical to simulate the train impacting the buffer. Some initial setup has already been completed. To represent a 150 metric ton train, I'll fill a 0.1 meter cube with a material that has a density of 150 million kilograms per cubic meter. I already created one of the springs. Now I'm going to insert another longitudinal spring with damping. I'll set the longitudinal stiffness of the spring to 30,000 newtons per millimeter and the damping to 1. I'm scoping the stationary end of the spring to the face of the buffer stop. This spreads the force of the spring across the scoped area rather than to a single point as a direct attachment would. I'll set the pinball region field of the reference face to 200 millimeters. The pinball region restricts the region of force application. This is necessary to ensure that the scoped region for the new spring and existing spring do not overlap. I'm going to scope the mobile face to spring impactor 1. I'll insert a remote displacement which we'll use to simplify the movement of a large body. I'll select the front panel of the train and the cube representing the mass of the train to define the remote displacement connection. We don't need to set a location since we are not concerned about rotations. We fixed all degrees of freedom by setting the x and y velocities to zero and leaving the z velocity free. I'll set the behavior of the remote displacement to rigid. Now I'll add some results. First I'll add an equivalent stress contour. Then I'll add two spring trackers. The first is to show elongation of the spring. The second will show the elastic force placed on the spring by the train. Now I'm going to set up a parallel solution. I'll add a new local solution option called Local 3 Processors under the Solve Process settings. I'll set it up to run a distributed solution on a maximum of three processors. I'm going to start the solution using the new Solve Process setting I just created. No progress bar is shown during a parallel solution, so I'll click on one of the spring trackers to watch the progress. The solution has completed now, and we can see all of the results. We can look at the spring trackers, which show an elastic response. And the equivalent stress. And we can animate the equivalent stress.